Hello gentle viewers, this is Avendian, welcoming you to a brand new episode of Out of the Park Baseball 19. Last season, we captured uh, another World Series title, giving us five, and 16 playoff appearances in 17 years. Um, it's our job now to see if we can three-peat, if we can win three in a row. So we got some jobs. The first thing I want to do very quickly is try to snap up um, our coaches. So we're going to go to front office, personnel. Okay. So we need three hitting coaches and a new manager. Let's start with the manager first because we're going to have the most competition for a manager. Uh, holy shit, you want to be a manager? Sure. I'll give you a three-year deal, and you can work your way up. Oh, that would be extra delicious to own the, the owner, to own the manager of our most hated rival. That's pretty sexy, I got to admit. Um... I do want a fairly polished uh, hitting coach for double A. For now. Oh, uh, we'll grab Bobby Hemphill for A ball. And for rookie ball, I want a good hitting coach who's extremely young. Here we go, 37. Let's see if we can't develop Jason Bruger. That works. Okay. So that part's done. Now the owner wants us to extend Jason Hamill. Which I don't have a problem with. Okay. I am not offering any of you people compensation. I'm not giving a qualifying offer. Because you'd probably all take it. If we're honest with each other. Um... This is all plenty fine. Yeah, this is... I'm not going to mess with much here. I mean, for Call as a backup isn't the worst thing to have, especially since he plays three positions fairly well. Oh, wow. He doesn't even want a chance because he wants to play in the majors. That's reasonable. I just don't want to go to arbitration with him. Let's see if I can get him to take his arbitration estimate. Okay. Now, the game wants us to re-sign... Um, Carl Pavano, Mike. I'm going to offer a couple people an, a minor league extension. If they don't take it, they don't take it. That's their business. But, um, yeah. Okay. Right. The owner wants us to extend Jason Hamill. But I can't even really talk about that for a year. So that's something to keep in the back of our minds, right? He does want a lot of money uh, to come back. But it's actually not as big a... Here's my problem with extending Jason Hamill, right? It's not that he hasn't been a great pitcher for us. He has been. And it's not that he hasn't been durable... Although that's gone away a bit over the years. It's that I don't like the idea of overpaying someone who's going to be pretty old at the end of this. So I think what we do is we go ahead and use a couple of team options to help mitigate our risk. This isn't the ideal situation because this is giving him basically two more years. Uh, with, a modicum, with a modest raise... That he's not likely to earn his money. But we want to keep the owner happy. And I'm not upset about the idea of keeping Jason Hamill. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening. Let's, uh... Oh, Bob Barr never got to pitch, did he? Hmm. He was a good trade risk, though. He just never ended up developing control. And that's frankly not something I can afford in a pitcher. 
Um, oh, let's quickly look before we advance time and let's change up the miners. Okay, everyone who wants to be promoted as our managers believe, let's promote them. We are very quickly emptying out a ball, which is fine. Okay. Anyone have an amazing statistical season that's earned a promotion to a ball? Oh, I don't think we have anyone of very high potential. Yeah, we can go ahead and promote Jose Roman. Uh, statistics. Getting a full war at that young an age is worth a promotion in my eyes. Because even getting one win above replacement is super hard in rookie ball. Because there tends to be so many players that it's hard to get enough playing time to stand out. John Perrin can be promoted. Yeah. Oh, what the hell. I'll even promote Mark here. Marco. But that is that is the, the issue, one might say, with... Uh, with having a big rookie system it is what it is um okay a couple people worthy of a down of a, of a promotion but no one really outstanding anyone have just a phenomenal year statistically and able oh uh, yes a couple actually tom sexton has earned a promotion Paul Gregory has earned a promotion. And holy shit, Mike Barron has earned a promotion. Like, he dominated the shit out of A-Ball. For sure. Um, No one in AA particularly deserves to make the jump. Statistically... I do want to get a few more interesting pitchers into AAA and see what they can do. So yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, who is Major League ready? Arguably a lot of people. Like, so many people are Major League ready right now, it's not even funny. Okay. Okay. Our biggest problem, so to speak, is that a lot of them are outfielders, and we just don't have the room for them. But we're going to have to make room for some of them. Um, Jim McCormick's not far away from, from Major League quality, but again, I want to wait on him. Uh, ben Attendi, you are not... Um, yeah, I know you want to play in the majors. I just need to find somewhere for you to play. Contract, here we go. Okay, not eligible for the Rule 5. Good. Good, good, good. Um... So here's our issue, right? We have three outstanding outfielders already, and Grazia Day, Mays, and Puig, and Puig, or Puig, rather. And there's not an obvious candidate to demote here, the way there are at some of the other positions. So we've got a couple of options about what to do. Number one. We can try to package people together in an attempt to get a really outstanding prospect. Or two, we can simply see what happens injury-wise. Because um, Schulte is going to be gone, uh, deservedly so, as much as I like the dude. Uh, I think his time in the majors has come and gone. Um... We could use a possible replacement in the middle infield. Especially if Browning gets hurt again. What happened to Luis Hernandez's power? Oh, I see. It's right on the edge. Okay. That's, that's reasonable. But yeah, we just have... 
we're basically in a position where we might want to consider trading a few of these people off, but I just don't know what we would try to acquire. I mean, elite pitchers are always good to find, but there's generally not that many of them. So the first decision I'm going to make, and it's a bit of a no-brainer, I am not going to let someone take Bruce Campbell from me in the Rule 5 draft. That's something for nothing, and I don't believe in that. I could try to trade him first. What kind of market is there for Senor Campbell? Prospects only, please. We are definitely in the market for an elite shortstop prospect. Of all the things that we lack right now, that's the one need I would like to fill. Paul Bird, not so much. Willie Ibar? No. I mean, there's just not much here. Oh, there is Hirsch Freeman. But... I'm not trading him for a relief pitcher. That's for damn sure. Yeah, I just don't think there's enough available. So I think we'll just go ahead and throw Campbell on the 40-man. Uh, and then sort him out this year. Like, Kevin Stalker could handle being the shortstop for a couple of seasons. Once Roger Peckinpah leaves. I just don't see the sense in continuing to pay him so much bloody money. That's just me, though. Um, yeah, Peck and Paw is not great. I'd flip him in a heartbeat if I thought we'd get any kind of return for him, but we probably won't. There's always also moving uh, Grazia Day back to shortstop, too, right? He wouldn't be the worst choice. Um, yeah. But we have three legit left field candidates that just don't have jobs right now, and but might in the future. Um, you never know what can happen, especially Major League Baseball. Um, Odd Gumbert might be a fair person to want to move at some point. He'd be an intriguing person to trade. Because here's the thing about Gumbert, right? He's not that great an outfielder. And his only real skill is heading for contact, which is going to get worse as he gets older, not better. What could we get for him? I know he's kind of popular, but to be frank, this is the kind of axe that we need to market. I would very much like infielder prospects. This should probably give us a much more um, manageable list. Hey, Omar Vizquel, I saw his name. He probably really sucks, though. Which, to be fair, he kind of sucked in real life, too. So, Great fielder, mediocre hitter. Okay, so we got Charlie Hayes, who's the third baseman. I've got plenty of those. I bar again. Uh, Gary Gaetti, another third baseman. Danny Sabori. So Sabori ticks a couple of big boxes for me. Number one, his offensive skill set is going to be very helpful in a shortstop. Number two, he's an elite defender, which is something else we need. And number three, he's crazy young. This might be... We're going to keep looking, but I think Sabor is probably going to be my target. Fear Bauer doesn't play shortstop. Yeah. There's a lot to love about Sabori. I do worry that a lot of his value... Um, yeah, see, OSA is not nearly so sanguine. But I do kind of trust our scout. Especially we can get you guys to throw some other stuff in. 
Uh, let's first of all not set them to untouchable so I get a genuine read. Could I get your first rounder? Probably not. I could throw in one of these other outfielders I have a glut of. That is tempting. But I don't think it's worth it, especially not for 32 overall. I think we'll just, uh, can I get Dario Mendoza? Not quite enough. I mean, look, Pedroza is not that great. I'm happy to add him into this. Yeah, this works. We get their two best prospects, admittedly very raw, and we're not giving up much. We're just giving up a player who's practically expendable and a pitcher that we would have had to add to the 40-man anyway. I like this deal. Yeah, well, the fans can blow me. Um, I do want Saborian A-ball. Come on. A-ball. Uh, what about Mendoza? Let's have Mendoza repeat a ball. Two. I don't think he's ready for full time double A though. Um, cool. So this is a classic deal, and it opens up roster spots. So if we do want to give one of these outfielders a try, we have the option to. Um, that was a good deal, I think. Let's proceed through the offseason. Yeah, Shevler's trash. Lopez is interesting. But the homers are always going to be an issue with him. What could I get for him? Uh, all players, prospects. Probably not much. Yeah, it's not worth it. I mean, Casey Stengel's pretty cool and all. But I just don't see the point. Nor for Charlie Riley either, really. Except we'll just take who we got for now. That's fine. Because it is possible he could improve his movement. And if he did, he would be a much better pitcher. Or just improve his changeup, rather. Um... We'll see what happens. Everyone else I feel pretty comfortable letting walk. So let us advance time. If not advance in space. Got him back. I mean, it's not that I don't like Carl Pavano. It's that I don't feel comfortable guaranteeing you a roster spot. He really doesn't want much of a salary. But I think I'll let him walk. I think I'll let him walk. Yeah, Wakefield doesn't want a minor league deal. That's fair. That's totally fair. Uh, Hamill took the extension. I am divided about it too, to be honest with you. If it weren't for the fact he's consistently been so good, I would be a lot more hesitant to sign a deal of that size with a pitcher that old. Okay. Ooh, a gold glove for Hernandez? That is unexpected. But deserved. He was a pretty good first baseman. I appreciate that. Uh, Barber wants a bit more money. Sure. Make it for five years and I will let you name your own price. Okay, Platinum Stick. Hernandez, Browning, Mays, 
Poog. Robbie Taylor won Manager of the Year. Poog got the MVP. He did have an amazing year. Um, we can't really dispute that. And I, I'm not. I'm okay with us not getting a Cy Young award. We really didn't deserve it this year. Hall of Fame. Pete Alexander, sure. Leon Durham, I think, deserves it just because of the home runs. So far, I'm seeing a whole lot of nothing. Sean Marshall. I won't vote for him this year, but if, if there is a, a bit of a, a push for him, I might vote for him. What the heck is making that sound? We got a bug on the inside or something? I hope not. Um... Henry War, no. It's just hard for me to be excited about any of these candidates, really, except for Alexander. So I'm going to go ahead and just vote that. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm not signing a rookie manager for $5 million. You can go fuck yourself, mate. I will happily find a perfectly suitable manager that's not you. I was just going to sign you for fun, mate. Um, let's grab Matt Sims here. I think he's a lot more reasonable. Yeah, I'm not going to spend that much money just for the lulls, basically. Oh, good. I totally forgot about arbitration for those two guys. I'm glad we won, though. What? What? Who keeps bidding up my fucking A-ball managers? Is someone just being a dick for the sake of being a dick? Like, I think it's hilarious that every single time I offer someone a contract, someone else offers them, like, this giant deal. It's like, what the hell, dude? Um, we are not going to be active in free agency this year. We don't need it. What we are going to do is we're going to look for high potential guys that, uh, that might be raw and offer them minor league deals, which it doesn't appear that there are any. But yeah, there, there is no sense in us getting involved in free agency this year. There's nothing anyone has, and there's nothing that anybody has that we really want. Nah. I'm not going to overpay for what seems to be a fairly weak class, especially when we just won the World Series. And there's not many obvious holes on the team. Um, so yeah, I'm just not going to sign anyone. I'm just going to skip that part of this season. Um, anyone we got coming up for free agency, actually, that might be a wise idea to lock down. Peckinpah, eh. Harper, eh. I'll, I'll talk to him. Oh, he actually doesn't want very much money. That's worth it. Do it. 13 million, he's overpriced. At 3 million a year, he's very much underpriced. Um... I'm not going to buy in on Cam Minetti until I'm convinced he's the third baseman for us. Yeah, we're about to have a ton of extra money to start playing with. And I want to make sure we spend that intelligently. We've got Hernandez and Mays locked up. Let's make sure Poog doesn't have, like, a crash before we consider offering him a new deal. Who signed you? 
oh, uh, an actual major league team offered you a bunch of money. That's fine. I don't begrudge you that. You were definitely deserved a major league deal. Okay. Yeah, Harper is a good bet at that salary. Um, we could always upgrade in the rotation, but the upgrade could also come from within. Let's take a quick look and see if there's any veteran starters who are really good that maybe just want a year to prove themselves. So we start by looking at starters. Nope. There's really no one. I could have Mario Cubano, but yeah, there's there's nothing here that fits our needs. Well, I'm not going to waste our time by bothering to participate in free agency this year. I wonder if we could just buy a draft pick. Like, say, here's $5 million. Give me your, for the first overall pick. I wonder if that would work. Let's just try it, right? What's the worst? The worst that can happen is they just tell me no. Uh, let's look at the standings. Who was the worst team in the majors last year? The Caribou. Uh, no, the Colonials. Okay. So we're going to talk to the Colonials. Be like, yo, Colonials. I want to make a trade with you. I'm missing this is possible. If it is possible, I'm not going to do it. Because that would be... I'll do it maybe one time. Otherwise, that's just abusing the shit out of crap. So I want the first overall draft pick, and I'll give you $5 million. Okay, that's totally fair. I'm totally on board with that. I was just making sure that wasn't a thing we could do. But yeah, I'm not going to give away Yasl Poog for that. Yeah, well, I don't want you anymore, Wilbert, so go fuck yourself. How's that sound, bitch? Um. All right, let us quickly go now. Okay, so Bruce Campbell's gonna get promoted. Maybe Jim King. Maybe McCormick. How do McCormick handle AAA? Pretty well. There's always going to be a bit of a control issue with him. But the same is true for like a Jim Wilson for now. Um, oh, anyone else uh, rule five that could be rule five that I'd like to keep? Bitch, don't tell me to send him down to rookie ball. He can handle a ball, probably. Let's put him on the prospects to watch list. I mean, if someone takes Rome, that's up to them. I don't see that it's uh, it's a desperate need to keep him on the 40 man. Rule five, if you please. We didn't be able to find a talented player in the Rule 5 draft. We really haven't rated the Rule 5 in a while. Until next pick by Cleveland. Hey, we could get Nolan Ryan. That guy's pretty good. Um, I really like Jack Smith, actually. For the role I have him, uh, for the role I have him, oh, he's kind of a dick and he's not very good defensively. Never mind. Never mind. I don't really need another third baseman. Uh, Ted Blankenship can't throw strikes consistently for me to give him a shot. Eh, I think we're good. I don't think we need anyone in the draft. 
It's almost an insult to me that we're not losing anyone in the Rule 5 draft anymore. It tells me, like, we're not draft... We're not building well enough. Makes me sad. Um... Let's go to the Hall of Fame voting. Okay, you want Sabori. Yeah, I will trade Wanaribe, though, because I have no intentions of keeping him around. Absolutely not. I'm just not going to throw in Sabori. If I can get even an interesting prospect, I will happily flip uh, Uribe. Um, Farrell could be a good little bullpen guy. I really like Len Lovett, though. I think he's the best choice of all of them. I'm not going to waste my time asking for a prospect because I'm pretty sure you'd tell me to get fucked. Which would be within your rights. Oh, really? If I could get Chris Zachary, that would be a nice little feather in our cap. Um... Nope, not worth it. We'll see if we maybe get another um, another trade proposal down the road here. Jesus Gonzalez was elected? What the hell did he ever do? Okay, 411 saves. You know what? That's actually fair. 37 war for relief pitcher is pretty crazy. That's actually totally fair. I think it's hilarious, by the way, that we have more um, relief pitchers than we do catchers. So we have center, second, pitcher, pitcher, pitch, left field, pitcher, pitcher, third, pitcher. And more than shortstop, so yeah. It's pretty crazy, right? Oh, you passed Mongiordino on the all-time save list, you jerk. I hate you, Jesus Gonzalez. I hate you a lot. Okay. Let's uh, go to preseason. I admit Greg Gent Gary Gentry has some interest for me. And I like that you're eating most of his salary. I even like that you're taking your rebay off my hands, but I don't want to give up Harold Baines. Not when he still might have a feature on my team. I would give you a Uribe just for him, but no, you don't want to make that deal. That's fair. We just sum up to spring training. Okay, Lefty Grove is a pretty good starting pitcher. This is the kind of deal I don't actually mind making. Because Davy Jones is quite far away from being a productive major leaguer. And 
And Lefty Grove could be a really nice boost to this pitching staff. The walks have gotten him into trouble, though. Yeah, am I giving you poog? Could I get you to throw some more in? No, he's cash poor. He's basically trying to dump salary. <sighs> if Lefty Grove didn't have such an obvious flaw, the walks per nine, I'd be more comfortable with this deal. But damn if that isn't an obvious flaw. I think we're going to pass. But we're getting to the point where I'm liking a lot more of these deals. And they're not asking for my top prospects. They're asking for the prospects that are farther back. Alright. Spring training. Everyone's favorite season. Okay. McCormick. King. Benatendi. Baines. Shaw. Not really anyone else that I want to give a minor league shot to. Stalker, maybe. Just let him get some major league experience. Maybe. A Jeremy Reed's a really good center fielder. He's probably a better fit for the team than Jake Evans. So I will happily let Reed get some uh, playing time. Possibly. This all seems reasonable. Um, our bullpen's a bit weaker than I expected. Hmm. In top talent, we're still really strong, but like the back of the bullpen is weaker than it's ever been. We might see what's left in free agency. Hi, Scott Williamson. Would you like to join the team? I'll even give you a three-year deal. Ah, uh, he just wants a one-year deal. That's fine. He wants a make-good deal. I respect that. Okay, let's play one week. Oh no, if, if someone else wants to sign you, I'm perfectly fine to just look elsewhere. This is dumpster diving. Gettysburg Eddie Plank? No one has signed him? I mean, he's got his control issues too. But he's a fair candidate to get a bit of a bounce back. As would Jose Rijo. I want to sign Gettysburg Eddie. Yeah, this is totally fine with me. And then I'll also make an offer to Rijo. Oh no, I'm not paying that much. Nope. I'm not, I'm not getting involved in this shit. You're not going to suck me into a bidding war over, like, a fourth-line option. I would need a better prospect to part with him. Alex Pearson, maybe? Yeah, that's not going to fly. Um, What about your third-round pick? Fourth round pick? I'm 
going to just submit the offer and see if he takes it. He probably won't, but it's worth a shot. Nope, I'm not going to give you more than that. Someone will come saddling up with the right offer. Ryan Carp is trash. I mean, Don Blazing Games is not great, but he's not trash. So I believe I shall pass. None shall pass. Thump. We got a couple of nice youngsters. Okay. All right. Let's identify the people we definitely don't think have a role on the Cleveland Keys. Gary Nolan, I've given you so many chances. I'm waving you. Same with Sparky Lyle. Uh, how many pictures do we actually have? We have 18, so we do need to get rid of six. Wilson, Singleton, Shaw, Perkins. Fourteen. I'll send out Michael Givens. I don't care. And then I do have to get rid of one more pitcher. Um, McCormick could be special. So I'm inclined to go ahead and let him go back to the minors. Okay, I don't need three catchers, so Al Lopez can go to the minors. Um... Stalker can go to the minors. Benatendi, actually. Okay. I'm going to get rid of Jake Evans. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and let Jeremy Reed make the roster. That's done. He's made... He's earned the roster spot. Um... I do want Danny Martinez just because he could kind of sort of play shortstop. So I've got to get rid of two position players, and they're both going to be outfielders. So the question becomes, of these four outfielders, Benatendi, Campbell, King, and Baines, who's most worth keeping? King's got ridiculous power. And he's a really good corner outfielder who also happens to have good discipline. But he hasn't had a full year in AAA yet. So I think we're going to give him that year to start off. Which leaves us with one more roster spot to sort out. Campbell and Benatendi are basically the same player. However, Benatendi can play center. Baines has learned all he has to learn in AAA. Same with Ben Attendee. Same with Campbell, in all honesty. I could send down Jeremy Reed. Because all Reed is good at is he plays center field really, really well. So if I needed someone to play it full time, I'd call on Mays. But if all I need is a backup, Ben Attendee can handle that. And we can see what Harold Baines can provide us um, off the bench. Yeah, I think this is what we do. So Ben Attendi and Baines both get added to the 40-man. I like it. I like it a whole lot. Um, yeah, easily the weakest pitcher we've got on the starting roster is Sally. 
McCormick will be first man up. Because with a control this bad, I really want him to have max stuff before I'm willing to call him up. This is good. I like this roster. This is a, this is a good roster. Oh no, please don't claim my shitty players. You will break my heart. <clears throat> this is a damn fine rookie class, I got to admit. Okay, so let's take a look at the team home screen. I can't believe he's the leadoff man. But you know what? The dude's awesome, so I'm totally cool with that. One trap to fall, to, to be very close attention to. This year was absolutely insane. And it would be foolish for us to expect him to produce it again. He's got all the talent in the world. And I love Poog and we'll probably sign him to a new deal at some point. But this is not the norm. I'm willing to bet if we look at Babip, it was through the roof. Two back-to-back -back years, he had a Babip well over 400. That's insane. Maybe that's his true talent level, but until we know for sure, it's a bad risk to take on a giant deal for him. Uh, good bullpen, good rotation. This is good stuff. The owner should, by the way, be delighted with me since I gave him an extension. Okay, let's get it going. Okay, let's watch for warning signs. How is Browning still getting better at 30 fucking 5? That's mind-blowing. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Wilson got better. Welch got better. A couple other people got worse. <clears throat> Okay, so right off the bat, that's not great, but this is what Jim McCormick is for. That's deliberately why I didn't put him on the roster to start the year, because I knew I might need him if someone got hurt. Uh, you can both go to the minors. And I'll take you both off waivers. We're off to a bit of a rough start this year. Huh. Hi, Kevin Stalker. Or Juan Arriba. Hmm. You know what? I'm willing to give Uribe a shot. Fuck it. He's a fairly decent hitter. Thirty five hundred hits. Nice. Nice. Um Nope. Uh nope. Mm -mm. Really? I'm going to go ahead and give him a uh, promotion to, to, to double A. Yeah, he's earned a promotion. We're not as dominant as we have been in the past, but we're still quite good.
Um, we'll let you play the rest of the year, but I will put you on my prospects to watch list. Um, how is your rebate doing? Not great. Not great. Bradley's not doing so hot either. I don't think he'll take a demotion, will he? Nope. That's, uh, that's fair. Let's go ahead and have Roger Peckinpah, um, yeah, sort himself out in the minors. Yeah, we got Hamill back. Of our pitching staff, who's performing the worst? CC, but look, I'm not going to send CC to the minors. Bert Cohn has been a bit shit this year, too. Huh. Like, McCormick is pitching really, really well, and I kind of want to ride the hot hand a bit longer. So I'm going to go ahead and let Hamill have uh, some minor league rehab time. Plus, it might make sense to do that regardless, just because he has had injury problems the last couple of years. Player development. Okay, Martinez got better. Bain's got a bit better. I don't think it was so fucking sensational. The lineup, as always, is extremely strong, but... I think the Bill Bradley experiment might already have failed. I mean, Bradley's supposed to be a hit-first guy, and if he's not getting hits, he's not worth it. So I think we're actually going to send Bradley to the minors. And I think we'll bring back uh, Peckinpah. There we go. I'm really kind of disappointed, because Bradley we paid a lot of money for. Like, so much money, seriously. Five million dollars. But yeah, his, his hit tool is just not working in the majors. It happens. It's draft day. Oh, yeah. Look, your OPS Plus is a nine. You would have to literally ask for, like, no money. Even $1.5 million is, frankly, too much money to give you. Um, oh, this is some sexy, sexy players. But we've got, our, we've got our old advantage back. We've got a ton of money. We can definitely consider signing people up. I'm not bringing back Peck and Paul. I, frankly, don't think he's worth it. I'm not going to rush some of these other guys either. Yeah, this is fine. I mean, he's been consistently solid. I'm not disputing that. And he's a dual national, which is pretty cool, too. But, um... His... He seems like somebody who's he's consistently out poor performing his ratings. Which makes him a bad bet to spend a whole crap ton of money on. I will go ahead and buy out. And I guess you should take a $10 million, $10 million salary. 
No. 11 million. Uh, we'll just wait and see how arbitration treats you. Yeah, I'm not bringing back Pack and Paul. It's not worth it. He's not good enough. We always seem to struggle with shortstop, don't we? Hmm. How did I get the other first round draft pick? How did I get two first round draft picks? Oh, right, 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 because right, I drafted Frank Thomas last year and he didn't sign. That's right. Uh, up until my next pick, please and thank you. Okay, let's look at the default. All players. So this isn't the most exciting draft. Um, although... Eh. Hmm... Hmm. Like, an absolutely amazing reliever does have a ton of value. Let's take him. Well, Hosmer could be a very good player someday, so there's a lot to think for that. Greg Jeffries could be even better, though. Yeah, Jeffries is a pretty obvious pick for me. I think he fits into what we're trying to do quite nicely. Hmm. <laughs> Buggy wouldn't be a bad choice, just not a great choice. Um, Sorensen would be interesting. He's a bit of a gamble, but it's a gamble based on the fact that I think he's going to end up throwing a lot harder than he is right now. Just because of his size. So I think that's worth a second round pick to find out if he can manage that. Okay. Felipe Lopez is pretty mediocre, all things considered. Nope. Maybe. The movement's an issue. Uh, Jeff Little's actually a pretty nice choice. Let's draft him. Actually, Neftali Feliz just makes more sense. Because he's even better, right? Yeah, let's grab him too. This is the year of restocking our bullpen. Eh, Dick Conway's not a bad risk with a fourth round pick. And yeah, we're already at the part of the draft where there's just not much left. Um, let us look at all shortstops. Can I have you actually play shortstop worth a damn? Rob Schroeder, but only just. I do want to make the most out of this fifth round pick, though. Yeah, this is just a weak draft, I think. I think this wasn't the best draft to have two first rounders in. But our team is a little bit better now. Um, who would you recommend we take? Daryl Johnson. He's a decent catcher with a good batting eye, and that could develop nicely. So that's fine. Now let's look for the people that have crazy good tools. R look, Roberto and Robert Andino, if he can pick up on shortstop, is actually a pretty fair prospect. I'm going to give him a draft. Charlie Gould, sure, sure. 
I can get me a, a, a taste of that. Let's go to pictures. And we're looking for stuff. Roy Golden is basically free at this point in the draft. So I can take an eighth round pick on him. Why not? I'll grab Pete here and see if at some point he's able to put some control on his pitches. Jimmy Freeman, sure. That works. And I think we'll just auto-draft the rest. I don't love this draft as much as I have drafts past, but I think what we do have is we have some really solid contributors. Um, Pud Galvin is going straight to the majors. Jeffries, we've got some time to let him develop. Sorensen, again, time to let him develop. Feliz could go straight to the majors. We're upgrading a couple of positions that I do like the fact that we're upgrading. I just don't think any of these changes are worth are gonna are gonna transform the team's fortunes this year, except just improving the bullpen in a general sense. There's always so many good free agent relievers that it always seems kinda silly or draft relievers that kinda seems silly to me to sign spend a bunch of money on a reliever that's not a closer. Okay. Okay, we got some decisions tonight, but before we make any of those decisions, let's quickly first mark everything as red. Or just delete it all. I guess that works too. Um New guys. I see no reason to keep Pud Galvin one second in the minor leagues. Uh, not when Carmen Hill could just be demoted and we can call up Pud Galvin. That's an easy and obvious upgrade. Uh, Sorensen, go ahead and pitch an A-ball. Same for Conway, same for Cisnero, same for... Feliz probably deserves to go to the majors, but it's a less obvious ask who we send down for him. Lopez, maybe. I think we go and put Feliz in AAA and just make him next man up. Which... Starter is pitch Yeah, I think Sally could maybe use some time in the minors. We'll get Hamill back. Jim King is really coming along. Like, holy shit, is he coming along. Yeah, I'm going to send a Harold Baines back down. King is too good to keep in the minors. I think we made the right call, you guys. I think we made the right call. Right. Personnel decisions. Look. We've had one of the best hitting coaches of all time. We've consistently led the league in runs scored. And he's been a tremendous asset. But there's also Greg Salvo. Although admittedly, he doesn't fit perfectly with the current philosophy. I think an extension for Eggleston is perfectly reasonable for now. Scouting a team trainer. Let's keep him. Okay. Now for the other people's contracts are coming up. 
Andre Redmond has improved significantly and I think deserves an extension. Um, likewise, Brad Miller. As for Matt Sims, maybe not so much. Let's promote Redmond to single A manager. And then let's go ahead and give Sims a bit more time to figure his shit out. How's Jason Bruder getting along with people? He has a good relationship. A good influence on young players. Okay, then. That's what Rookie Ball is all for. So, yes, let's see how he does. Okay. Coaching contract sorted. San Diego. Nope. Jones on the attack. All D.B. Jones is doing is exceeding my expectations at every level. I think he's earned a promotion at double A. He just keeps showing. I mean, he's impressing the hell out of me. Is he already on the list? He is not. You are promoted to the list. Like, mad, expect, mad respect, seriously. I will happily sign both of you. I'm going to offer Garcia money, too. There we go. Nope. It's not that I dislike Doug Fister as a pitcher. It's that I'm not going to give away two pretty high-quality prospects. Although Mendoza's really crashed. Hmm. Yeah, honestly, for a free agent starting pitcher, that doesn't make a ton of sense for me. Excellent. I got the two best players. Nice. Why do you keep offering me non-prospects for prospects? It just doesn't make sense to me. I'm sure you've got your reasons, but it doesn't make a ton of sense. Somebody asked you recently what I want to see in OTP20. I really just want to see improved trading AI. Okay. Uh, three relievers. Nice. Fred Carroll, Luis Hernandez, Pete Browning, Willie Mays. The usual suspects. Yep, yeah, that's good. That is good. Four weeks for Jack Harper is unfortunate. But that just means it's enough Tolly Felice's time to shine. Trade proposal, you say? Nope. 
I do like Ducky Medwick. Um... I'm not sure I'd give up Jim uh, Jim Wilson for him though, especially as a potential uh, pitcher. Of all the people I could move, okay, let's talk. I eat 100 percent. Oh, I can only 80 percent of his salary. Okay. Can I get any kind of interesting players for him? I just saw Edgar Martinez. That would be a crazy addition to this team. Especially when Edgar Martinez plays third. Remember how good Edgar Martinez was in, uh, in the previous campaign? Okay. We're getting some offers. None of these offers are blowing me away exactly, though. What if Edgar Martinez isn't really good in this version of the game? Or it's simply an Edgar Martinez, not the Edgar Martinez. Where are you, Edgar Martinez? Here we go. Just for fun. People really like Harold Baines. Like, a lot. <sighs> Interesting. Oh, Toby Hara, I'm pretty sure you just drafted him. Yeah, you did. You're not going to give him to me. You can't give him to me. Which is whatever. Eric Chavez? Probably not, but it's worth looking. Nope. Here's the only reason I'm hesitant to trade Roger Peck and Paul. I don't have a replacement. And I could offer him a qualifying offer and get a, another first rounder next year. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on trading him for now. Can I just make. I'm just going to make Jim Wilson untouchable for right now. Because it's the only person that anyone ever asks me for, and I'm frankly not willing to give that up. Up, oh, one your eBay is going to retire. That's okay. He's had a good career. Is it a real trade proposal? It is a reasonably good pitcher. And you're not getting a huge amount in return. 
But there's a couple things I don't like. Number one, I really don't need a starting pitcher. And number two... Yeah, I'm just not sure this is what I'm after. But do you have a great shortstop? You do have Wade Boggs, but there's no way you give me Wade Boggs, I bet. Would you? Ah, really? Okay, Wade. You want to play for a bunch of losers, play for some losers. See what I care. Yeah, Washington doesn't have enough. And I'm not convinced we need a starting pitcher. I think our starting pitching... It could be better, but so far it's just fine. But Junior Thompson's a bit of an issue this year. Ah, he's walking more people. He'll sort it out. Bullpen solid. And we still have the best lineup in the American League, so... Even with Roger Peckinpah's candy ass... We really do need an upgraded shortstop. I do think Ken Caminiti has proven enough to me in two consecutive years that he's a worthwhile third baseman. So let's go ahead and give him... Uh, can I get you for three years? He doesn't actually want all that much money. I bet if we upscale his... Yep, let's buy out his arbitration years. Or at least try to. Um, yeah, Caminiti's a perfectly acceptable starting third baseman. I'll have you know that everyone in the lineup except for Peck and Paul's a 300 hitter. Just saying. All right. I would like to upgrade Peck and Paul very much. From Peck and Paw very much. And I think my issue. Are you. Okay, you're just day to day. Okay, I will look at everyone and I will keep 80% of his salary. Just give me. I will overpay the Dickens for the right player. Alex Cole is a good leadoff hitter type. I just don't like the fact he can't really play a position that well. I could pay even more for an even worse middle infielder. Not sure how that makes me feel. We will check the trading block here in a second, actually. Let's take a look at the trading block. Now let's focus on infielders. Ooh, hello, Jim. You are a damn sexy pitcher. Why the hell do you want to get rid of him? Oh, because you can't afford to resign him, I bet. I gotta tell you, this is an amazing picture. I do like me some Sam Bone. Okay. Hand a bow. What do I need to give you? Caminiti or Pugue? Not worth it. Um, bone isn't that good. There's no one here I feel I feel comfortable trading for. 
Let's just keep on keeping on. Player development. Some nice improvement in certain pitchers. Bears a bit worse. Caminity's a bit better. King and Campbell both got better. Mesa's starting to get a tiny bit worse. Wilson took a big step forward. That's always good to see. And then a bunch of other people didn't. Hi, Jim. You have been an extremely useful pitcher this year. Um, without any doubt. Ah, oh, yes, there was a trading deadline. That's fine. Let's sim up to roster expansion. And what we'll do is we'll call up both Bradley and... Uh, Ooh, Harper is back from the DL. Let's put you in triple A just for now. Oh, we won't take a demotion because he's a dick. Um. We could send down Feliz, I guess. And then just call him back up once a uh, 40 man's open. Okay, I want four years and I'll give you an extra million each year. Oh, Willie Mays, is there anything you don't do well? It'd be blunt. The only reason you don't win center field, you've never won a gold glove, is because you just haven't gotten lucky. MVP... Three first place finishes. Let's let's take a moment to just reflect on his insane career already. And how in less than ten years he's already got a thousand over a thousand hits, three hundred and fifty homers, uh a hundred and twenty nine stolen bases. Yeah, turns out this Willie Mays guy, he's he's pretty good at the baseball. I bet you want to come back, don't you? Guess what? I don't necessarily want you back. Although you have been very competitive this year. Ah, but look, his changeup is basically a garbage pitch now. It's not worth it. It isn't worth it. Okay, so we're going to call up Phillies, Baines, Bradley, Hill. I'm going to go ahead and put Jim Wilson on the 40 man now. That seems reasonable. Okay.
Six weeks for Peck and Paw. I don't love it. Kevin Stocker time. I mean, the dude can't really play shortstop. That's his issue. But it is just a 40-man roster spot, and he'll probably end up getting a fair bit of playing time anyway. So might as well see. Give him a chance to show what he can do. I like to draw your attention to the fact our record is just keeps getting insane. Damn. Look at you, mate. Okay. Let's appreciate the fact I'm 120 and 42, right? That is now the second highest um, win total in league history. We have been a bit lucky this year, mostly because our bullpen's been really solid. But I'm cool with that. All right. Let's finish today. There we go. I was trying to get to trigger the set the playoff roster a bit. Like, Sally was so good down the stretch. Okay, Junior Thompson had a bit of a shit year. I am not putting him on the playoff roster. We're going to put on McCormick. Because I think the rookies earned it. We're going to put on Sally for his crazy end of the season. Oh no, he's not eligible. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we will put on Hamill. Um, I guess you can just put on Nola and Thompson and just let the AI work out who it wants to pitch when. Not Thompson, though. Yeah, Thompson struggled this year. And I don't trust him in the playoffs. And I think we will play a man short, just for now. Oh, come on, guys. Do it for your eBay. Ooh, that was a, a freaking murderer's row type thing. Oof. No, not the curse of John Amador. I remember Ed Lennox. How have you been? You've basically never achieved the heat you reached with Cleveland. Good to know. Come on, guys. Really? It's all you, CC. Come on, mate. There we go. CC was on the case. And we'll do until next playoff round. McCormick v. White. A victory for McCormick. That looks like a very nice game for him. Yeah. Three runs allowed, seven strikeouts, one walk. 
Good work, McCormick. Aaron Olin didn't pitch quite so well. Oh, come on. Don't waste a performance like that from CC. Dude, three unearned runs. All because of Willie Mays. What the hell? Shit. And then you just blow out Hamill. This is looking bad, you guys. A bit of a comeback in game five, but I'm I'm concerned it won't be enough. Uh, another win. It's up to CC. Damn, look at that. Okay, you guys. One of these years, CC has to get credit for the crazy job he does in the playoffs. Look at this shit. No runs, 8Ks, no walks, 5 innings, 8 innings pitched. That was simply surreal. The New Orleans Tarpons. A really good pitching staff combined with a not-so-good lineup. We'll have to see how that works out for us. Well, that's a damn good start. Jim McCormick has really impressed me here in the playoffs. Not just this performance, but damn if that's not good. A shutout in the playoffs is pretty sexy. Damn, Jason Hamill also put in an amazing performance. Almost justifying his, frankly, ridiculous extension. CC? Came down to the bullpens. But still a fine game by everyone's favorite ace. Eh, we weren't going to win them all. There we go. A three-peat for the Cleveland Keys. I got to be honest. CC Sabathia really needs to win a series MVP trophy one of these years. Because he has just been so instrumental in all of our deep playoff runs. That was a pretty crazy year. Pretty crazy year. Oh, we're going to get Pete Browning back, which is excellent. Huh, you're happy about Pud Galvin. Oh, your rebase going to retire. I'm going to need a new hitting coach. That's fine. Fred Carroll. We will take a moment to look at the team as a whole. But. I genuinely can't think of a good reason not to ex not to just keep Carol's contract. He's such a good player that yeah, we're just gonna execute the option. I'm just gonna pick it up. Okay, and then we've got the Pete Browning question to deal with in this offseason too. But let's review the the, the team. Hi, Willie Mays. I would just like to make it... I'd like to, to settle in for a minute. Best year of his career at the age of 27. Led the league in homers, RBIs, and slugging percentage. Probably won't win a gold glove. Although he was pretty good this year. But just the sheer awesomeness of Willie Mays... And again, how brilliant was the trade that brought him to Cleveland? Pretty damn brilliant. Yeah. I am, I'm pretty happy with his year. Pete Browning turns in a down year and still dominates the entire league. Um, I will be totally honest with you. I cannot genuinely see a good reason not to extend his deal. I can't. 
his second base work could maybe use a bit of an improvement. So we shipped him to DH at some point. Uh, very good year for Poog, but n notice, not quite as good as last year. I did tell you that was unlikely to be repeated. Good year with the glove, too. Hernandez. The power continues to accumulate. Uh, Fred Carroll's best year of his career. He's doing very well at the tender age of 34. Uh, good year for Graz. Another good year for Caminiti. Um, very productive. Not a great third baseman, but a good enough one. Peck and Paul was okay. King was fine. Bradley. Ben Attendi was a bit of a disappointment. For a guy who got into as many games as he did, it's a bit of a shame he couldn't produce more offense for the team. But they can't all be perfect. Pitching. CC, then McCormick, then Nola. Down here for Hamill, but he did miss a substantial chunk of the year with his injury. So it's going to try he's going to be overpaid. That's one of the risks, though. Just want to point out Jack freaking Ferry. 78 innings of beautiful baseball. That's the good stuff. But yeah, a very, very good year. For all concerned, including Andy Rincon, who had a bit of a rough start to the year, but still managed to finish with a nice save total. So yeah, thus concludes another successful season. Thank you all for watching. Uh, please let me know down below in the comments uh, how you think we're doing. Um, but until next time, this is a bit of Indian. I thank you for watching, and I bid you good day.